just okay so what do we got here this runs the back slide the back slide out this slide out here okay, okay. this one right here is if you want to run your water heater on electric turn the switch here on it just all o is off the line is on uh-huh okay if you're gonna put it on gas you gotta turn this one on because this is an add-on and put this on and that turns your water heater lights your water heater on gas okay if this red light here comes on that means it did not light mm. okay okay so and since i don't have any propane it's going to come on here in a minute and you'll see it you'll see it work okay it'll try three times to light if it doesn't light your red light comes on mm. and then what do you do if it uh if then you could just shut it off and restart it again. If it's been a while since you had propane in it, mm -hmm. you might have to do it three or four times. Light a couple burners on the stove. Once you get them good and going good, shut them off, and then try this again, and it should light right up. Okay. Okay. So, and that's how you light the propane. Okay. So we'll this, give it a minute. This is the slide out, and this is the propane. Propane. Okay. For the water heater. And that's okay. the... See the light come on? Yeah. Saying I didn't light. Okay. You're going to shut this off. Just shut this off. Light a couple burners on the stove, turn this on, turn this on, start it over again. Okay. It'll try three times. And you said light a couple burners on the stove? Yep. And after, and after you light them, let them burn for a little bit and then shut them off. Then fire this up again. And then do it again. Okay. This right here, the water pump. Okay. You can kind of hear your water pump come on. The water pump's on. I can hear it running. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this is when you're going to pump water out of your tank. Okay. Out of your tank. Right. It's got a tank on it that you can fill up and carry water with you. So you stop along the side of the road and use the bathroom. Okay. Okay. For what you've already talked about, I'm sorry I didn't have this going, sure. but I'd love to have it. You okay. know, well, you want to finish up here, and we'll just work our way back like we whatever we, here? Yeah, whatever okay. you want to do. This right here is tells you how much propane you have, which is empty. The okay. which, second, or LP, the bottom one? LPG. Okay. Okay. Battery tells you what kind of shape your batteries are in. It's got brand new batteries in it. Okay. So, and they're charging right now. That reads here, charge good, fair, and low. And low. Okay. On the okay. other side over here, you've got full, two-thirds, one-third, and empty. And empty that tells you here your fresh water tank is empty empty your black water tank which is your toilet strictly a toilet uh -huh. and the gray is your bathroom sink kitchen sink and shower and shower okay and this tells you how full they are on your gray tank you can dump it anytime you want to the black tank i always wait until it's at least two-thirds full or fuller because the more liquid you have in the tank the more pressure it has pushing the waste out okay okay what i usually do on ours is i let both tanks fill up i leave both dump valves out there shut i let both tanks fill up when i pull my gray my black tank i run it out until it's empty i shut it i run my gray it rinses the hose out and you ain't gotta mess with a nasty hose okay so it rinses everything out all right okay so that's how your monitor panel works okay okay water pump water heater on that side for the gas and then all your controls here to tell you how full your tanks are okay okay you got a vent up here just crank open the vent and most people don't even use them because it just lets air in so but i gotta put a crank handle i'll get you a crank handle for this one i didn't know there was one missing ah, okay. okay all your lights here are 12 volt well i checked these these here all work but i didn't check the ones above the bed so I'll look at them real quick. Okay. And that one there, you got the one there for your above your TV. The blue oh. TV. And that he, so. Oh, yep. okay. Okay. Got it. It's got a double switch on it. You turn one light on or two. Yeah. Your air conditioner vents up here. There's two air conditioner vents in the back. And you got the one here over the shower. Okay. This is your shower here. Okay. Yeah. So, and you got the door on it here, the accordion door that closes. Oh, okay. Now, the yeah. way your shower works, you turn the hot and the cold on, get your temperature set. This right here, it's got three lines on it. That's where water's gonna come out. Uh-huh. Okay. After you get your temperature set, you wet down, you kick this over, it just kind of drips out of here. Okay. That'll give you a chance to soak down. Okay, then you kick it back over here to rinse. If your boys like long showers, or they got a surprise coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those those days are done. <laughs> you got six gallons of hot water. 
Now uh, it's a quick recovery. Is it? But if you took, yeah. if you kick that over, if you kick that over to off when you're showering and soak down, mm -hmm. the water heater will accumulate. Okay. 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 All right. On the toilet. Mm -hmm. Pretty self-explanatory. You got your light here. You got a fan up here for your bathroom. Wait a second. Let me. Okay. All right. That's the light. Yep. And there's the fan. I gotta get my stuff out of here. Okay. 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 This is the fan for the switch for the fan. Uh huh. We call a fart fan. Okay. Your lights here for your light switch. Okay. Right. To work your toilet. Okay. You're gonna got two levers. You got a white lever. You pull the white lever and puts water in the bowl. Okay. Pull the black lever. It dumps it and rinses at the same time. Okay. Okay. Now, there's chemical that you put in your toilet. A chemical? Chemical that you put down your toilet. Okay. And and she's got some in it. She'll, she'll show you. It, you just put a little bit in there. If the bottle, if you read the bottle, it's going to tell you to dump the whole thing in there. Of course, they want to sell as much as they can. <laughs> yeah, okay? I bet. So you don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, you just put a little bit in there, and if it gets to stink a little bit, put a little bit more in there. Okay. They make several different kinds. They make powder. They mm -hmm. make a tablet. They make a liquid. What kind do you recommend? Okay. Well, if you take the tablet and the powder, uh -huh. it works on the same principles if you take a glass of water and put it on the counter. Put a big old tablespoon of sugar in there and stir it up. It's all going through the water. Mm -hmm. Let it sit there for 15 minutes. Sugar goes to the bottom of the glass. Mm -hmm. When you pour the water out, the sugar's still on the bottom of the glass. It does the same thing with your holding tank if you use the powder and the tablets. Okay. If you use the liquid, it mixes with everything like it's supposed to. Mm -hmm. Okay. I've had people come in here. They've been using the tablets and the powder for a long time, and they had a 60-gallon tank. Now they got a 30-gallon tank. They keep losing capacity because it gets like concrete to the bottom of your tank. Mm. It won't wash out. The and that's the thing you can do is rip the tank off, put a new tank on. So use the liquid. Use the liquid. Okay. Okay. Now, your toilet paper, mm -hmm. it's real important that you use RV toilet paper because it dissolves, right? Right. I understand okay. that. Okay. So now, just plain RV toilet paper, $6 a roll. Two ply paper, three cents a roll. I like the three cents. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's my opinion. Of course, okay. that's the handiest thing. Jackknife now. sofa. Mm -hmm. To put it up and down, you just pull up on it. Sit pull up, up against the wall. Put it down, just lay it all the way down. Okay. Okay? That's all there is to it. Okay. You got your red handles on your window here. The purpose of this is this is called an escape hatch. You got one door on that side. Mm -hmm. You pop these here out, push this, and the whole window flies out. Oh. So don't let the kids pull it. Gotcha. You, you can open it up. You can open it to get air. Mm -hmm. Okay? But you don't want to just pop the... Because that throws the whole window out. The, the whole thing. Yep. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So you can let this down for a bed. You raise this up, hold your handle. This here comes down and lays on the runners. Mm. Put the cushions across there. You're ready to go. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Pretty simple. Yep. All right. The leg comes down, locks in place. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, TV antenna. To work a TV antenna up here, you're gonna you crank up your antenna. Uh -huh. Okay, once you get your antenna cranked up, if you're watching TV and it kind of comes in a little fuzzy, this here is on a spring. You pull this down, you can rotate the antenna. Okay? Oh, okay. Up on the top. Kind of zoom in then. Now, anytime you put it down, make sure both of these two points here are lined up with each other. Okay? Oh, okay. And it's got a saddle up on top that it lays in. Uh huh. All right. And then you crank it back down. And it lays in the saddle and you're ready to go. Okay. I didn't run that in long enough, far enough. Back over here to the jacks again. Yeah. Okay. First thing you're going to do is we're going to set our emergency brake. Yeah. Okay. Emergency yeah. brake. Yeah. Okay. If you don't set the emergency brake, the jacks won't Turn go down. The ignition <laughs> on. Okay. On like you're going to start it, but don't start it. Uh huh. Push the on button, green light comes on. Uh huh. Okay. Then you set your front jacks and your back jacks until you're level. Then okay. just shut your key off. Okay? okay. When you're all ready to go, mm -hmm. you're going to brake still set. You're going to turn the key on again. You're going to push the on button. Then you're going to push retract. When you push the retract, you'll feel the jacks come up. When the red light's out, jacks are up. And it does them all or just the back? Nope. If you push the front, front two go down. Oh. If you push the back, the back two go down. You can push the left one. This side goes down or the other side goes down. Gotcha. It'll do two at a time. Okay. okay, depending on which way you're pushing it. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. We went over some things on the dash there yep. that 
I'll go over that. I'm just going to let this here go until the jacks are up and I can see they're up. That way, when I get ready to back it out for you, then I don't right. have to have all right. I have to do is put slides in. Okay, this right here is a battery boost. What a battery boost does is if you actually leave your headlights on, uh huh. Okay, and the battery engine battery's dead and won't start. You can push this battery here, put the coach battery and engine battery together so your engine will start. Mm. Okay? okay, that's what that's for. This right here is IC flashers. IC flasher is say you're driving down the freeway and uh, you ever see an 18 wheeler gonna pull over mm -hmm. and you give him the right of way to pull over, he pulls over in front of you. Yeah. All right, and then his back lights flash. Uh huh. That's what the ICU is. So if you're driving down the highway and you go to pass somebody and he flashes his lights to give you the okay, after you get over in front of him, you reach up there and flash that, your back lights flash saying thank you. Ah, gotcha. Okay? All right, that's what that is. Gotcha. This is where you start the generator. Anytime you start the generator, uh, don't have the generator running and be plugged in at the same time. Okay. Okay. It's got old gas in it, like I said, so just let it run out. It'll take a little bit to get it going, get it cleaned out to where it just idles. So yeah. when I get it home, can I park it there in the driveway and, and just let it run until it gets it cleaned out? Or yeah, you may have to. Yeah, it may die. You may have to start it and, and let it till it gets cleaned out. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it's been sitting for a year. Okay, mm -hmm. and he hadn't been using maybe longer. So they use a generator. Okay. Okay. So now, uh, you know where Onan is? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know where Oceans of Fun is? Ah, uh, yeah. Down off of Parvin Road. Mm -hmm. There's a building right there uh, called Cummins Mid America. Sits right on the corner before you go into the parking lot. That's where Onan is, and if you if you ever have to, you can go in there, and they got a machine they can put it on and set everything out and idle it out and everything. Oh, so it's pretty reasonable. Okay, all right. So anytime you're going to start your generator and it mm -hmm. hasn't been started in a while, mm -hmm. always go to stop first and let it hold it in for a little bit, and it primes the pump. Oh, okay. Okay. Then when you start it, you push start, generator starts. Okay. Okay. So you go to start it, it fires up better. Okay. All right. Okay. But like I said, we're plugged in, so don't ever run generator and a generator and plug in at the same time. Same time. Because yep. you're going to throw double voltage, and you don't want that because it doesn't have a shut off, a shut off. Okay. Okay. This is headlights, running lights, parking lights. This right here turns the lights up on your dash so they're brighter if you have to. If you kick it all the way up, it'll run your battery down because it's the same as the same as your dome light in your dome car. Dome light. Okay. But these here have been turned off of your dome light. Okay. okay. So. Yeah. Does that one work? This one here? Yeah. Yeah. If you come over here, oh. dome lights, it comes oh, on. Oh, okay. And the other dome light over here comes on. Oh, okay. Map lights, they call them. Okay. What's that? Oh, that, that was fans. Yeah. Was, was that other the, two? The two here are the fans, and they're they're locked up on here. I couldn't even get the blade to turn. You'll have to Do you have uh, one, uh, any replacements? No, you'd have to go to O'Reilly's and get them. You can go to O'Reilly's and get the chrome ones. or, And you can get the ones that oscillate and everything, you know, when you change them Where out. Where do them bad boys run? I don't have any idea. Okay. Okay, this right here, you turn this middle knob to right or left. That's uh -huh. to adjust your electric mirrors. Oh, electric mirrors. This is nice. Yeah, this here is to adjust your electric mirrors. You push up on it, you push down. Oh, which ones? See it? Oh, there it goes. You, you pull the lever over, whichever one it is you're adjusting. Okay. 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 All right. Um, uh, you got a cup holder over there. I wouldn't suggest you use it. It's gonna spill. No. It's gonna add an angle. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they did that. Uh huh. Okay. Okay. So your air conditioner here is on the dash. It just works like a regular one. If you want to put this back up in there, you can. Uh, it's pretty. You know, take these screws, the four screws out of the corners, and that'll come out, and you can replace that. Okay. So however you want to do it. Um, I showed you on the TV antenna. Does our, my monitor work? On I don't the backup? know. I don't know anything about it. I haven't talked to him on it. It may not work. Can but we try you, it real quick and if, see? Well, I didn't. I couldn't get it on the other day, and I checked all the fuses. See, I still got my key on. I see, but your button is messed up here. And if you check back with me, uh -huh. uh, off and on, I might have another monitor. I may have one in my truck. I mean, I'll have to go out and look. But this in here, I couldn't get to come on. I think the button's messed up. Yeah, that's kind so, of important. I, I don't know if it, uh, most people what they do is they're getting the new new monitors because they're in color, mm -hmm. and you can also hear back there what's going on and you can watch it going down the road yeah, if you're pulling a I car just, or something behind you. I just want to be able to but, see but yeah I can so but I'll check and see if I got a monitor out there I think I got had a guy give me the monitor the other day because he went to the colored one mm. and at the, should, I think it's the same thing as this one so I can just give it to you if you want it yeah if, so, if you don't mind yeah. if, if it'll match up and I think it's the same thing okay okay I got a fix there of course you got your vent here 
and you can open up your vents and when you're going down the road now this has got the max airs on it okay the the, the covers over them you can oh. leave these open all the time uh what it does lets the thing breathe no mm. rain will come in or anything oh okay. when you got your air on you want to shut it so it keeps your air in okay 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 uh okay now let's, let's go out let me see if i had anything in here that okay. i wanted to everything that's outside uh, okay we'll go uh is there some kind of membership that you can get that you can park like anywhere in the united states like campground of america or something like that is, they, they've got clubs that you can uh, oh. uh, like good sam's has a club and they give discounts to park and stuff like that okay so you might try that all right um anything that requires uh regular weekly monthly type maintenance nope just... no okay what stuff would you recommend to like f to seal the roof okay it's it the people that make your roof is dicor dicor that's okay. who makes the roof for this mm -hmm. and i had a i had a guy in here the other day he brought his coach in to me and he wants me to seal his roof he's got a rubber roof on it mm -hmm. he said i already went up there and took this stuff you could spray in a can you know and it seals like you see them uh -huh. they put it on a screen and on a boat or something like that okay so i said okay well here's pictures of your roof and start eating the rubber and he's oh, got boy. big holes eating in the roof because he put that stuff on there oh okay dicor makes a sealer called a lap sealant that you put on the roof a lap sealant a lap sealant okay and you put it on there with a caulking gun around your vents and stuff okay. you don't ever you know how on a mobile home they used to go up there and dump that silver stuff on there and all put it all over the roof okay you don't ever want to do nothing like that to your rv because all it does is adds weight mm. and when it adds weight you're going down the road and you know and it's just adding weight to you you don't want that okay seal around your vents and stuff you don't have no problem with the and across the front the back you don't have no problem with leaks okay okay they recommend you do that once a year you don't have to put it on there once a year but clean it once a year and inspect it if okay. you get some that's coming up a little bit the lap sealant what i like about the lap sealant is when you put it on you go in there and squeeze it on with a caulking gun and then it levels itself out oh nice okay? you go back up 30 minutes later and you look at it because sometimes it'll have an air bubble in it and it'll pop and that's a fun ah uh, okay? okay so uh and it stays soft in the middle and has a little kind of not a real hard shell but a shell on the outside mm -hmm. so is it the heat you get it in the heat and if it gets a little crack or something up there it'll automatically seal it where you put it okay so always use the lap sealant the stuff that makes the, the people make the roof recommend okay um uh, batteries inside. you said those were already new yeah, um put two new ones in and it'll okay is, is that how many that takes is yes it takes one engine battery and one coach battery one engine, one coach. okay filters anything on the inside for filters that need to be replaced or nope. anything uh air conditioner has a what's it at has a filter up here you pull this here down you got a filter here clean it oh okay, okay. so okay and you clean it clean it up no big deal this okay. here goes up in here snaps in here you take and push this up here now if you ever break these little tabs off here <laughs> but if you ever break one of the tabs off i put a screw right here in the corner of each side yep okay okay it works fine uh hot water tank pilot oh, light that's outside and I'll, i showed you how to light it up back here in the back yeah okay um let's see there was okay the skylight something about a skylight you told her that was it in the bathroom or in the oh, shower that i replaced yeah okay that... yeah it's in, it's in the bathroom okay and the radio works now the fans we already found out about those stove and oven heat up you said it does the bathroom door yep yep got, got it fixed. fixed generator you got to run the bad gas out yep. the jacks and leveling so and i asked my question about that on the um I gotta fix the TV antenna yet, but we'll, I'll come back and do that while you're doing paperwork. And I'm gonna back it out for you. So oh, okay. let's go outside here and I'll show you how to step on the outside. All right. Last thing I want you to carry these, please. There's a paper with it. Okay, we'll start. Uh, this here just a compartment back here. Okay. Okay. And you may have to spray some of these here down. Okay. But this is a compartment here, the awning rod there. I showed you how to work it the other day. We ain't got enough room here to pull it out. Right. Okay. So, and that's just a compartment there. 110 receptacle. 110. 110. Okay. Right here is where you put your fresh water if you want to carry fresh water with you. 
Okay. Stick a hose in there. When you put the hose in there, you'll see inside it'll reason that runs your that'll work your toilet and stuff like that when you're going down the road. Most people won't haul a full tank of water, it's just extra weight. Right. Because when you get there, you're gonna hook up to a hose and be ready to go that way anyway. Right. Okay. All right. Okay. Water heater. And this this is a 10 gallon water heater. Okay. Okay. Here's your model number for your water heater if you ever need it. And that's okay. the model number. That's the model number. Okay. Okay. And I put a new electrode in it and stuff, and everything lights up and works like it's supposed to. Okay. okay. All right. So you're ready to go there. All right. Uh, when you get there, put the plug in here. After, now, after you after you run a little bit of water, run some water through it out on the ground on the water heater and then take and put the plug in there and tighten the plug up a little bit uh. and you don't have to put anything on it's a tapered plug that's okay okay so okay all right that's how that works this here's a refrigerator you should never have to do anything back here it's all done up on the inside okay okay yeah you might vacuum it out a little if you want to but and you won't have to do anything with the burner or the boards or anything and you can feel that it's hot okay yeah okay so that your refrigerator is yeah. working okay Okay, and it's on electric right now because we're out of the door. Okay. Okay. All right. Model number of the coach if you ever need it. Model number of the coach. Okay. okay. All right. Can you shut that? Yep. When you shut the door, your step's going to come out. Which is the way it's supposed to work. There we go. All right. Just oh, more storage. Just keep from banging on the deal. Yep, just more storage. Yeah. <laughs> More storage. Okay. Okay. Uh, this takes the round key to open it up. You got a battery here, which is your engine battery. That one there is your coach battery. And that one down there is coach. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, when one, was the uh, oil changed in this? Um, she's probably got a record of that. I think I changed it. He took a trip and I changed it as soon as he got back from the trip and he was going to take this and again, but he took his new one instead. Mm. So it, it ain't that old. If you pull a dipstick, it's probably real, real good and clean. Okay. And she'll give Dude. you the kind that we use in it. It takes seven quarts for the, it's written on the hood underneath there, seven quarts for the oil. Okay. And, and everything. We I've always done it for him. We keep a record of it. So. Okay. Um, this one right here is your propane. If you open it up, it's got a knob on it. It's kind of hard to see. But it's got the knob on there, and that's where you turn the propane on and off. Right, there's the valve. Yep, the silver knob. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now, when you get, when you take it up to get fill it with propane, uh huh. All right, they're gonna fill it where that yellow knob is. Where the yellow knob is. Where the yellow cap is. Is there a yellow cap on here? I don't see a yellow cap. Okay, it's way up underneath here. It's where? Up underneath here. Oh, up underneath. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 And and that's where they're gonna fill it at. Okay. So that'll be on them and not you. We won't have anything to do with that. That's um, propane. What, what, yeah. What I recommend myself is anytime you take it in to have the propane filled, or if you can get them to come out and fill it if you're set up, mm -hmm. always make sure you shut the propane off. Don't let, don't wait for them to do it. And the reason I say that is because they're going to put up there. They're going to put a lot of pressure into it. Uh -huh. You don't want to blow your valves and stuff. Right. So I always shut mine off. And make sure it's off good. Let them fill it up. Then I turn it back on that okay. valve right there that valve there okay they're supposed to shut it off when they fill it but a lot of people a lot of them they won't they'll go in there and hook it up and just go for it okay, okay. so all right okay generator of course all right uh, that's, okay that's the generator all right Four thousand only. this here's your cord it's a 30 amp cord do we know how many hours is on that generator or it's got a, a gauge up on the dash Got a gauge up on the dash. You got a 30 amp cord, it's 25 foot long. Okay. Okay. So if you're going to plug it in, when we walk around to the other side, I'll show you because I'll have to unplug it. When you get ready to plug it in, if you're going to at a campsite, you're going to be 30 amp. Plug it into 30 amp. I would recommend you get you a, a surge protector. You don't have to do it right now, but get you a surge protector because we get into the rainy months and stuff, and you leave this plugged in. Uh -huh. A surge protector will save your air conditioner, your furnace, your refrigerator. Uh, your televisions and save all that because you get that jolt go through there it burns it up fast mm. okay okay so um but if you're going to plug in like that now say you're going to say you want to plug it in at home you're not going to have a 30 amp service at home most people don't right okay so in with the stuff that she got you for your, your little kit thing mm -hmm. it's got an adapter in there and it's a dog bone adapter 
you can plug it into it and plug it in at home. That'll keep your refrigerator going. If you plug it into someplace like the garage, uh, okay, let me rephrase that. If you plug it in outside, you're plugging it in, all your outside circuits or, or uh, GFIs, they're only 20 amp, it won't run your air conditioner, it'll pop it all the time. Uh. If you plug it into a garage or something, it's probably not GFI, so you can run your air conditioner off of that dog bone. Okay. Okay, if you want to. Okay. Okay. All right. This right here. Okay. You got two different size valves. You got your little valve, mm -hmm. gray water. Your big valve, black water. Okay. Black water's toilet. Gray toilet. water is your bathroom sink, kitchen sink, and shower. Soapy okay. water. Okay. Okay. This is the cap that goes on it. How'd it go on there? Okay. This is the cap here that goes on it. Uh -huh. You just put it on there and turn it. And if it, like I said uh, earlier, okay, I'll see if I got another cap because that was broken. It has, has a cap on it. Yeah. Um, it's got a ear broken. Um, dump your black water, let it run real good and empty out. Shut it and then pull your gray and it'll rinse out your hose for you. Okay. Okay. And now, where do you dump your black water? Into a sewer. Into a sewer. Yeah, you'll go in a lot of campgrounds, they got what they call full hookup. Uh huh. Okay, half hookup. If you go someplace that's got a half hookup, okay, what they've got is uh, half hookup is electric and water. Full hookup is electric water and sewer. Okay. Okay. If they don't, if you go someplace and you don't get the sewer, they've always got a dump station you can pull around there and dump it. Mm. But you have to take the whole motor home to do it. So, <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is your city water connection. If you're going to hook up a water hose, you're going to hook it up to here. The garden hose? The garden hose. Gotcha. Okay. Now, there's a pressure regulator, what they call a pressure regulator. Mm -hmm. Okay. A lot of people put it on here. You ever walk, you ever walk through a uh, campground, see one of them big water hoses that are this big around, wonder where they got it? That's because they put their pressure regulator on the trailer oh. or on the motorhome. If you put it on the spigot side, it regulates the pressure in your hose too. So huh. you don't, your hose don't swell after laying in the sun. Gotcha. Okay. All right. This here is for cable TV. A lot of places have cable television. Uh -huh. You hook a cable right up there, turn your TV on, it goes to your TV. Okay. Okay. This right here, where you fill it up with gasoline. Okay. All right. And it's got a key in there on it. This is the furnace. Mm. This is the furnace here. Nothing you have to do out here. It does it all on the inside. Okay. Okay. All right. This here, just more storage back here. Okay. Well, it's just more storage. Yeah. <laughs> it's locked. It's locked, yeah. This right here, store your sewer hose. If you're going to travel, you put your sewer hose up into here instead of putting it in a compartment sticking up the motorhome. Right. Okay. Okay. That's what they got there for. Okay. All right. Got your hitch here. I put cameras up on top. Yeah. Okay. Did I answer your questions? So, I'm probably going to have to watch this a hundred thousand times, but... <laughs> okay. That's all right. <laughs> Yeah, you, you've definitely been around them for a while and know what you're talking about. Yeah, so. yeah, going so. over 40 years now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm almost tired of it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, when I take our big motor home out, I always, if I'm going to get air, they usually got it right down there where the truckers fill up with diesel. Mm -hmm. And they got a, a line down there, it's a big long line, and they'll check all their tires and stuff while they're filling up. So, and it don't cost that. Okay. I, don't, I don't like buying air, paying for air where I pay for gas. That's just mine. That's just mine. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I think that's uh, a little catches. A little catches is to hold the doors open. Is there anything that, that's good to like, like you wax this? Or? I tell you what, if it was me, yeah, I'd take. I use Dawn dishwashing soap on mine. Uh huh. I do it. I wash it in a circular motion. Uh huh. And after I get it done, I use turtle wax, and it just shines real nice. Does it? A lot of elbow grease. Now, if you yeah. wanted to do it the cheating way, uh, you could take it down there on Front Street. Go down there to the truck wash, tell them to do an acid wash on it. Mm -hmm. They'll do an acid wash, come out just as shiny as you can take. Will that damage this anymore? Uh, can, I, how can you, can you like paint this or? That's what a lot of people do is they take a razor blade and they'll scoop through that and they'll tape it off and just repaint them. Um, mm. Myself, I mean the new ones, the new mm. ones are all coming out painted. They're mm. not decals. So, yeah. But, I mean, you know, if it, what about wraps? I've heard of wraps that you can get wraps. Yep. The... You, you can get a wrap. As a matter of fact, uh, this big brown motorhome back here, mm -hmm. it used to be a wrap. Oh, yeah? And I'll show you pictures of it. Um, what they did on it, it was... Uh... Let's see, where's the wrap at? 
What do they usually cost? Oh, I didn't do it. Oh. Uh, well, I didn't know if you priced them or something. Well, I should know here before long because I think I'm taking it back down to get another wrap put on it. Hmm. But he hasn't said yet. Because um, this one back here, I mean, he's got it for sale. That's my. There's a nice little helper. <laughs> That's <The> helper. cool. <laughs> That's cool. Going in the house. <laughs> um. Well, where's it at? It's back further. It was before the baby was born, so. Oh, here it is. Okay, that's the wrap that was on it. It's oh. Trump's. It's Trump's unit. Oh. Okay. And yeah. And then we took they took the wrap off, and that's what you ended up with. Huh. So, and I think I'm not sure, but I think I'm going to end up going back and having the wrap done on it again because I think they're going to take it out again for his next campaign or mm. whatever. So. But mm -hmm. I mean, they, they last pretty good. They Did they? Pretty good. They had everybody signed it on the outside, you know. When we took the wrap off, they talked about selling it. Now they're talking about taking it back out again. I don't know what they're going to do. Yeah. yeah. So, okay. but you could take it and have a wrap down it. There's a. They do it down there on. Down in the caves, off off of. Uh, over North Kansas City. North Kansas City. Yeah. Sure, you could. Uh, when we go inside, I'll, I'll sure you tell you exactly where it's at. Okay. Because she's more familiar with the roads and stuff over there. Okay. So, but and that's, but that's where they do that. They, they'll tell you how much it is. All right. Hey, I'll give you an estimate on it. Let's run in and get my uh, my uh, deal for the GoPro. So you switch down here at the bottom? Yeah. If you're not using the coach and it's not plugged in, shut that off. Okay. That's a store or use switch. Okay. So if you shut it off, it shuts all the batteries down so there's nothing, nothing, nothing runs the batteries down. Mm. Okay? This little switch over here is for your step light. Okay? Oh. Okay, yeah. All right. What's this little deal right there? That's, from... Oh, that's an LP detector. So when you get LP, this here is going to, it might beep a little bit, hold uh -huh. the button in for just a little bit. And what that does is if it smells LP gas, because LP gas is heavy, mm -hmm. if it smells LP gas, it's going to go off and smell and sound like a uh, smoke detector. See a green light just popped on there. Yeah. So yep. and, and it's on, but it's out of profile. Ah, okay. So, but it's not smelling that. Okay. 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 Um, so I have a key for all these locks. Yep. Got the key for the locks. Now I got to get with him. Uh, when he brings me the title, then I'll know. If, uh, I'll find out if he's got any extra keys to it. Okay. Okay. And we'll go that route. Well, I can't think of anything else. So. I dream of relics and gold. I search for riches untold. Adventures always close at hand. I walk the fields and streets, find the treasures under my feet. Discoveries across the land Let's get the metal detecting bug Let's get her dug